consecutive runs to the semis or better in a row. But do not 100. discount this man because Ryan Searle is playing in his third quarter final of the year, having had a very creditable run. 99. For the last 16 of the World Championship. He did make a Pro Tour final at the back end of last year, and in the space of about six months, 64. Ryan Searle has turned his career around. One hundred and five. There's the man from Wales, the Welsh number one, the Iceman Gerwin Price against heavy metal Ryan Searle, the man who throws the heaviest darts in the game. Ninety-nine. Thirty gram, thirty-two grams, I believe. Looking to leave tops, Price. Sixty. Can't quite do so. Still first to six in these quarterfinals. The format does extend for the semis in the final. 61. 20 for tops. For a hold of throw. Needs to avoid those darts. 40. But also avoids double top, unfortunately for Gezi. 77. Ryan Searle can't find it either. One high, one low, and you can't keep giving price goes at tops and tens. Game shot. Because he will pin them. He is already won four games to get here. He's just whitewashed Ricky Evans. 93. 6 0 with a 98 average. He saw Christo Reyes and Raymond Van Barneveld both by six legs to three with averages in the 90s. 97. He started the day with a 6 2 win over Justin Pipe with a 101 average. Now, his overall numbers are good. He's averaging almost 98 for the day, but it's nowhere near 81. the 103 he averaged over the whole day to win one of his titles, the last Pro Tour weekend. 140. But there is time yet. Ryan Searle is averaging almost 97 for the day as well. And he comes into this having just beaten Christoph Ratajski 6-4 with 104 average almost. He's also beaten Michael Barnard, Carl Wilkinson and former world champion Yella Klaassen. This is a good run for Ryan Searle, but it is not an unexpected one. As I say, he's made two quarterfinals on the tour already this year. He just looks... In 96. fact, they both do, really. They look transformed from spells last year. 95. 95 for Price. Leaves himself 90. Searle can't take the 150. So Price will look to double his lead. 100. Various different players have different routes for this, but that's the standard one. Double 15. That's also the standard problem with it. You're going to 82. miss that double 15. You want to miss outside, but there's no point just throwing it wide. You have to at least try and attack it. Down for double 10. 40. Two darts missed in the opening leg, two darts missed in this one, and Game Ryan shot. Searle cannot keep offering up opportunities to one of the four men in darts right now. Gerwin Price will be desperately disappointed with his showing on Thursday night in the Premier League in Nottingham. It was, 42. on paper, his best ever chance of beating Michael Van Gerwen, but the record now stretches to played 14, lost 57. 14 against the world number one. But that aberration aside, 100. He's very confident of his darts right now and believes he can win anything. Why not? 140. Shown he can. 140. 137. These two settling into a rhythm now. 99. The winner of this will face Daryl Gurney or Jermaine Watamena. It's 2-1 Gurney at the moment in that one. 79 scored. 86. 80. Double top for 3-0. 80. 
just a little bit high. This might have to go, Ryan. Double 12. Game shot. Well, he very nearly made it three legs on the spin that he'd missed a couple of darts. But Ryan Searle is now throwing to level the match at two apiece. Vital leg, you feel. 77. They have met twice before. Going Price won both of them. One of them last year on the Euro Tour, that was 6-2. That was actually, it was the start of Ryan Searle coming into form. 42. Ryan Searle had gone six months without picking up a win, essentially, and I think a lot of people were fearing that 57. that might be his race run and the tour card might be going all sorts. But what he did, just as Gerwin Price did, he took part in a, a non-PDC tournament, a bit like the old News of the World tournament, the Champion of Champions event. Pubs all around the 96. country. Best of three legs. So first to two. Like the old News of the World tournament. And they 96. have regional finals, then they have a grand final. Gerwin Price won that a few years back and then went on to win his first couple of PDC titles. Ryan Searle won that. And then came to the Euro Tour after the, the break over August and beat Peter Wright. 62 left. 62. He has to look at 12 ball here. Oh, well, he's pulled it into the treble nine, so he can't finish now. Yeah. And Ryan Searle will get a chance to level this game. 95. Game shot. And this time there's no messing around. Pins the double first dart for the first time in this match. 2-2 in this one. So Ryan Searle beat Peter Wright in that Euro Tour event. 85. But then lost in the quarterfinals. It was still his first ever run to the final day of a Euro Tour. It was this man, Gerwin Price, who beat him in that quarterfinal. It was 6-2. Gerwin Price, of course, wanted to win the title. It wasn't long after that. 70. In fact, less than, well, two months, almost to the day, that he became a major champion in the PDC, winning the Grand Slam of Darts. 134. The other time they met was back in 2017. That was here in Wigan. Second round game, that was 164. But a lot of water under the bridge since then. One hundred. One hundred and thirty-seven. Well, he's at the six there. Oh, what's he left there? He has miscounted 60. there. He thought he had seventy-four, so he'd gone treble eighteen for double ten. He actually had seventy-six. Eighty scored. Game shot. Well, Gerwin was looking his scans at the scoreboard and the dartboard there, but he's only got himself to blame. And in fact, he didn't hit the double, so it doesn't really matter. 112 checkout, and Ryan Searle has turned this game around because that is another break of throw. 99. And they're both only averaging 90 here. But Searle may... 140. So just settled into a rhythm. He was firing things left and right a bit early on. Well, there's one into the one segment. 78. We saw Chris Doby overcome a bit of a bogeyman on this streaming board earlier on this afternoon, beating Andy Bolton for the first time in his career after four consecutive defeats. Ryan Searle could beat 96. a man he's never beaten before here. If he does... He's in the semi-finals. Uh, that leaves you 167. 69. Well, that's not ideal for Gezi. Eighty-one. Just enough for Ryan Searle. 
Another one in there. Double 19. Dance and the up. Iceman levels it up. 158 checkout, 12 data, much more like a Grand Slam champion and the stuff we've been seeing from him over the last few weeks in particular. The UK Open run was 60. incredible. He was only edged out by Nathan Aspinall in the semi-finals. And even then, it took a malfunction with one of his flights to derail Gerwin. 96. There's an incredible match at the UK Open where he took out two 167 checkouts. When he is playing well, and this is 100. a... A sign we've seen from Gerwin right from when he first started playing PDC darts. When he's in form, those big checkouts, you quite fancy him to take one out 41. in every game he plays. A bit like Rob Cross in that respect. We've seen Rob Cross returning to the sort of stuff we saw at the World Championship with his 164s and 167s and 144s and 140s going on a semi-regular basis. 98. He can't leave the 170, so Searle... Has a chance. Trouble 15 or 7, what's it to be? No, 25 for double 18. 103. Problem with that is you miss inside, then you do leave yourself that 18, which can be tricky. 98. So do you split it? Yeah, he is splitting. 10. And he does miss two at double four. Uh, he's looking at four 17s for double top. He does try and leave double top at every available opportunity, but if you stick it next 40. door in the double two, you ain't going to get anything. 4 3 Searle. Two twos. Four. Massive opportunity missed. Single eight. For double top. Game shot. And Gerwin Price with a clutch finish. F five, six darts, sorry, missed. For a 4 3 lead for Ryan Searle. 100. One hundred and twenty one. Daryl Gurney leads Jermaine Watermain at five seventy four. One more leg needed for Super Chin, the player's champion, to book his place in the semi finals. He would be the first man through to the semi finals. Ninety three. 120. Another one in there. Leaves double ten. Oh, Ryan Searle. Unable to level. Could it be double-double? It should be. Nah, didn't throw it with 54. enough conviction, did he? Doesn't get a dart at that double top. Searle returns. Double ten. Neither of those are in. Game shot. But the double five is. Last dart in hand. He's still alive in this one, Ryan Searle. 180. It has taken us nine legs, but we've got a maximum. 140. Gerwin's 11th of the day. Closely followed by his 12th? No. 99. But if you kick off 180, 99 on your own throw, you are making life exceedingly difficult 45. for your opponent. One hundred and thirty four. Forty three. Not down to a finish, so I think it'll be treble sixteen for tops for Gerwin. Forty eight. Yeah, no pressure to use the bullseye route for Gerwin Price there. One hundred and forty. Game shot. And he is one leg away from.
from making it five consecutive tournaments where he has made the semi-finals or better. An astonishing run of victories. There was a, a spell within the last few weeks where Gerwin Price 100. went 20 <laughs> games unbeaten. A couple of draws in there in the Premier League. 91. He is an absolute juggernaut of this game at the moment and very difficult to stop. 60. Eighty. Ninety-seven. One hundred. Enormous pressure being piled on Ryan Soil here. That's a real frustration for Gerwin Price, but it's still a one treble checkout. Ryan Searle, double fifteen. Sixty. Timid first start. And the second was no better. And Price can win it. Tops. Game shot. And he does and win it. Standard go in Price behaviour. One dart at Tops. And it goes. A 6 4 victory. Another average in the mid 90s. But the last sort of four.